welcome back to our ongoing office 365 series in the next video we are going to see the compliance if you remember compliance from email that uh, basically they uh, they they like it's not something that your organization said it's that the local government of where operations are going on where comp your company operate that government regional or you know they have some <coughs> uh, policies that you have to comply with for example it's different for within European Union or the super different for UK or different for United States different for you know Canada so this compliance is that uh, under compliance tabs you have the policies or you, what you can do to actually comply with one of the task government's policy and it says legal regulatory or technical standard that you need to meet if they have the like it's a legal thing like uh, from the uh, by law or it's a regulatory like it's uh, regulations like FCC FTC all that in in the United States like I'm not talking about all other countries and that you there or there these are the standards that your company needs to meet and uh, if you don't they they're, they're heavy fines uh, not on you obviously by the government by the regulatory committee to your company so your company wants to meet them and the, all of these they are under here that we um, have to set or you know you know okay this is the part where i have to come and in this area i have to set them up so just like any communication we saw in email compliances that everything was being saved in a copy if it's the same is true like there's some sensitive sensitive information uh, they want on the one drive they don't want it on one drive or if it is being saved in one drive and it's part of communication they want a copy of it saved somewhere so auditing view user activities related to one drive such as who recently accessed deleted or shared files so this would be like uh, it will be an audit or log this user has accessed this file this has uploaded this has created this is modified this one shared this one deleted so everything so, oh it says actually audit log right here so search the audit log protection.office.com so again it's big and we saw the record records management here so we went through with it a little bit because it's like uh, now uh, office 365 right now is going through a revamp where different um, it's not about redesigning it's uh, like uh, we saw in SharePoint and all that um, basically different uh, aspects of different uh, um, features they are being uh, put together in a different place so if like for for example if something was in mail flow it's right here so it's no longer in exchange and so records management management if it was in um, SharePoint it's no longer there it has been created so protection.office.com is the new main page or new home for all these services so auditing you can search the audit log and you can go over there data loss prevention it's that uh, how to make sure that you do not lo lose any data protect your organization sensitive information so it does not get into the wrong hands so you don't lose them you don't uh, uh, by a user's mistake you leak it to like sharing like if somebody shares it and that uh, file has really sensitive information that you don't want to be in public create a DLP policy you can, we can create it again it's taking us to protection and we can it says client error show details system unauthorized access exemption so this So it's saying that either you don't have the permission or um, you don't have it as a part of your 365 subscription since I have the 
uh, business uh, it may have to do something with uh, an e3 license like enterprise license but it could also be that uh, I haven't set up any uh, admins for that but more likely it's enterprise thing so I can we can close it out of this view DLP plus uh, DLP policy match reports So you see no data available i am like uh, try to avoid all these reports uh, not to go in there the reason is that i want to go and explore everything before come back to uh, reports so by that time we come back here uh, office 365 has other activities like once we are doing uh, onedrive i'm gonna upload a few files to uh, onedrive for business and you know so the once we come back to reports we can see actually some data rather than to say oh there's no data available that will not be a fun and that will not be learning so let's get exit out of here retention retention is again how long you want OneDrive to keep the files we saw in here in excess that uh, uh, you know to preserve and this is for the compliance like uh, uh, if there is a regulation then you can uh, so we can create a policy here I believe name your policy preserve and retain description none let's go to settings if I click next it should go to setting So yes, I want to retain it for seven years. Wow. And this is in compliance. I think that uh, uh, for compliance, you have to have like a certain, uh, like for businesses, I know. Some of the businesses, they want you to have, for uh, for, for example, for tax, uh, uh, I, I'm gonna give you an example for taxes. Taxes, you have to have those, uh, uh, you have to keep, for personal taxes, like I'm talking about regular Joe, you have to keep that everything uh, for three years I'm not talking about W2 I'm talking about like uh, when you file it as an individual or entrepreneur or you know se what is called self employed when you do that you have to keep everything related to that tax year for three years for example if uh, uh, you're filing for 20 2019 taxes this year like now is the time you are required to keep everything all the th through the receipts and everything related to 2019 until 2021-22 so you you're not off the hook they can call audit anytime on you so it, it's just an example of like that's a law that you have to buy so what happens like uh, there is no fine basically for that that's uh, what they're gonna do is audit you cannot show up so they can assess whatever they have let's say okay we think this is it you, since you cannot prove it you owe this much so you have to pay it that's the, like a little bit fine not it's not heavy penalties but for organization things are different they are like dealing with a massive amount of uh, uh, public so they have this so they have like serious things like seven years and so this policy if applied then you can create it and choose the location where this will be saved so we're not talking about this one um, this is not this uh, no I'm sorry in storage so this retention is different than compliance retention what's the difference that retention the this retention is only for you when a user leaves you want to retain the files and you don't want to make a mistake right so you if you're clever and you're not quick you want to say okay we have this so we really don't have to you know worry about this because even if the, this gets deleted okay um, I can retrieve it no do not uh, because since it's a compliance thing it will be for like uh, 
basically we saw in the email that uh, there will be only one guy who will access it and basically they have to turn over to the authority when they ask for it so you don't want to go in here access files or get the files because then it will be you will be in the bad spot so this compliance is uh, <coughs> for like uh, regulation regulatory authorities um, so it just stays there gets automatically deleted do not think of it as just another backup no this is not for you whether admin or not um, like uh, your company would not want you meddling here uh, so again I you will yes it's just the location that you have to for this long when it was created the content and content based on like uh, if a file was created on December 31st 2019 <clears throat> it will be deleted December 31st 2026 right so uh, because 2020 is uh, year one so uh, <clears throat> based on the car so do not think that uh, 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 for, for example and the next file is created today so one file will be deleted on December 20 uh, uh, th December 31st 2026 then the next second file that was created after that uh, was today it will be deleted on January 14 uh, 2027 so it's this option is about that do you want to do you want us to delete it after this time yes or no so let's see what this mean Ah, so basically Microsoft Office saying that since it's a compliance thing what do you want us to do do you want to us to take apart but obviously they want to clear up space so what they're saying is do you want us to go ahead and delete it from uh, that place and also they, they they're gonna back keep a backup of the this as well or you want us to keep it uh, intact and basically you will have to go and you know uh, delete it after seven years so it again your company will detect yes or no what option to select no just delete content that's older than and then there's another option that's saying So basically it's saying is though yes I want to retain it or if you ever like uh, you have to abide by law or the second one is you can choose it so if you are going with this one it stays there but if it's there then it means that you um, everybody's free to delete whatever they have all the users and if anything like a user is lazy like me and their their email inbox keeps getting full 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 and they don't bother to delete then whatever is uh, an year old gets deleted they again the same thing when it's created need more option use advanced retention policies that is detect content that sensitive specific words or phrases so you go with it like uh, you basically define them so if you go you have to enter the uh, those keywords or everything or you want it to detect content that it will scan it and you have to go and put them in about what like it's a uh, medical and health records financial records uh, privacy related record so we're gonna go with just the first one and see what it gives us the location so where do you want to choose specific location email public folder of group OneDrive and SharePoint or you want to you know do you want to policy onto everything or you want to uh, like customize it further so these are on these are off if you are it, you will turn them on based on the dictation of your company which will dictate get this uh, dictation from the 
law or regulation that they have to comply so again what's included what's excluded you see none none so and if you go you have to review your setting and create this policy I'm not going to do that again so let's go back to OneDrive and compliance e-discovery if you remember we saw that that if you want to s discover something uh, like you have to search about a case uh, it's an like ongoing thing like I give you an example uh, if a user says that hey okay we I have this issue ongoing I've been calling in for this many days weeks or months so they can actually search it by the account number user number uh, phone number address anything so let's see what's in the discovery and how to use it oh it's I think it's exactly the same so you enter the case number name and description and then you add users like Ali or whoever and you finish it so it's a compliance case so basically you have to create a case uh, you have to make a user uh, an admin of that case and then that user has to follow up with that again it's a let's see uh, 01142020 case number description testing let's uh, give a <laughs> we are burdening Ali a lot poor guy right so this is created and all that so what's next nothing that's a new case let's add it search is right in there so we can search right all case content search anywhere custom location selection or all that so exports members who are the members right now Ali is holds what is hold create a new hold mailboxes okay sites searches you can name a search you can which content search everywhere custom location selection search all mailboxes about that thing like if and then we have the search term or what's this this is usually a sport because uh, this box is usually for uh, to add uh, users right yep display name so ah display choose specific email boxes if i click search all my all, all mailboxes it's gonna search everyone but if it's like a specific then you can say so remember we are doing from the admin section and you will be doing if they ask you to run report and then give to them you want to search public folders or not so basically whatever you search will be searched throughout these locations custom and will give you a report again it's very advanced stuff and you will be doing only in the supervision of somebody senior member or you know uh, from somebody who is like a guy has been assigned to this <clears throat> e-discovery or a case in this case it's Ali we did that but somebody will tell you okay this guy is be is the supervising this uh, case and then they work with you so they will give you the keywords they will tell you where to search and all that and once you get that you 
get back to them and tell them okay here it is what you needed get notified when user performs specific at activities in OneDrive let's see what are those again everything goes into um, protection tab Accular activity alert turn on auditing let's turn it couple of hours see everything takes time nothing is like in real time real time alert policies so we will actually basically activity alert you will create a policy uh, what this is about is I would say that if there is a folder and you want to know who is sharing it and all that who is accessing it who is editing it and remember this is for compliance like there is a folder that has sensitive information or you know all that and under compliance they want to know okay do you, you are being reviewed for this thing related to this case this file so then your company will tell you put an alert on this folder so they can hand over okay with by this time this 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 user has access deleted edited things so it's just uh, uh, everything with uh, abiding by uh, the, what your company is being told to uh, we're gonna wrap this video here the compliance uh, real heavy <laughs> um, legal or regulatory technical standards video if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I will see you in the next one